And now let me share with you a very exciting project located in the middle of Metro Manila, Light 2 Residences. Let me begin my presentation by showing to you this photo. They say that a photo paints a thousand words, but for us living here in Metro Manila, this photo is actually our everyday reality. And what I have in front of you is the estimated travel time in Metro Manila from say Alabang in the south to Makati in the center of the city, as well as Alabang to Ortigas, Quezon City to BGC, Quezon City to Ortigas, Quezon City to Makati, and Quezon City to Alabang. And what you will see here is that on average it will take at least 49 minutes to get from one point to the other and that is through the use of the tollway and even longer from Quezon City to Alabang for example it will take about 112 minutes and with that amount of time uh, traveling from one point to the other a lot of business opportunities a lot of employment opportunities are forgotten simply because of the hassle of getting to one place to Metro Manila is actually found to be the most congested city in Asia or in developing Asia at least. This is after a study that was conducted by the ACDC. And as you can see here on the screen, this is a study that measures the traffic in 278 cities across developing Asia. And the reason to the congestion actually is it's a, actually a bit of good news. Because that means that there is a dynamic um, economic activity in the city, but congestion happens when the demand actually is greater than the capacity of the roads and networks that are within the city. And unfortunately, traffic has its consequences. In Metro Manila, for example, the economic cost of um, traffic congestion is said to be about 3.5 billion pesos and that, that is not monthly or yearly but that is 3.5 billion pesos daily according to Chaika. On a personal level, traffic also has a cost and according to a study conducted by TomTom which is a Netherlands based uh, company that ranks a traffic congestion all over the world. Commuters in Metro Manila actually lost an average of about 257 hours or equivalent to about 10 days and 17 hours of their commute during rush hour in 2019. Imagine that's collectively for the lifetime of a Filipino that is about two hours of a Filipino's life actually spent unnecessarily in traffic and that two years of time wasted unfortunately it's time that we cannot get back and let me just quote the saying by um, Joyce Meyer when she said don't ever waste a day once time goes by you never get it back unfortunately imagine what you could have done or what we could have done um, for that two hour two years lost could have been time spent with uh, friends, um, doing personal pursuits or a hobby, or most importantly, time spent with loved ones and uh, family. So there has to be a solution to this problem. And what I'm about to present to you is what we believe is a solution to the traffic congestion here in Metro Manila. And, and actually, it is very simple. It is simply to live in the center of the city. Let me present to you Light 2 Residences. Light 2 Residences is located in the city of Mandaluyong, which if you will actually look at the map, is right smack in the center of the national capital region. And Mandaluyong City is actually described as a dynamic city in the juncture of Metro Manila's progress. It is a small city with a population of just about 278,000. But one thing very interesting is that its daytime population actually swells to about four times, which means that there is actually natural traffic 
people going to Mandaluyong City on a daily basis to shop, to uh, do business, and to study. And the reason to this is because of the city's um, central location. And actually, in the western portion of the Ortega Center, is actually still part of a Mandaluyong City. And Mandaluyong City is actually dubbed the shopping capital of the Philippines. And the reason to that is because it is home to a cluster of shopping centers which stand side by side. At the center of it is SM Mega Mall, and at the back is the podium. We also have um, Shangri La Plaza Mall as well as the St. Francis uh, Square. And Mandaluyong City is also a BPO haven. And in fact, it has 22 PESA accredited um, buildings. And this is the location of Light 2 residences. It is strategically located right in the, at the heart of Metro Manila. And specifically, it is located along EDSA. And um, it is the ideal home for the individual who is highly driven and on the go and for his family who wants to make the most out of the opportunities of living in the center of the city. And the reason for this is because all the business opportunities and different um, employment opportunities are easily accessible from light to residences. And the reason why I said that the opportunities on offer um, for someone who wants to take advantage of living in the city is easily accessible for someone who lives at Light 2 Residences is the fact that Light 2 Residences is actually in between two of the country's biggest central business districts namely Ortigas CBD and Makati CBD and let me also add that BGC or the Bonifacio Global City is easily accessible from Light 2 Residences and Light 2 Residences is directly connected to the MRT3 via the Bonnie Avenue Station. The MRT3, just to give you an update, actually recently went through a rehabilitation process. And this rehabilitation process actually resulted to an increase in the speed of travel, which is now topping a 60 kilometers per hour. Waiting time is also shorter from 9.5 minutes down to 3.5 minutes. What does this mean? For a future resident of Light 2 Residences, that means that traveling from one point of the MRT to the other is now faster, thereby getting to places like um, North Edsa, Makati CBD, or Tiga CBD, or down to Tap Avenue even faster. And just to give you an idea how convenient and how fast travel will be from light to residences, well, by the MRT, most points, most important points of Metro Manila, say the Makati CBD or Tinta CBD, um, North Edsa and Taft Avenue, that's travel um, from 30 minutes or less from light to residences. And um, the drive time from light to residences to Alabang, for example, can now be cut to just 23 minutes and uh, travel time from light to residences to Quezon City and it's actually just about 31 minutes. These are figures taken from um, Google um, Maps actually. And travel time uh, to Makati for example is just down to actually just 25 minutes. Collectively, one can actually save uh, to as much as 24 minutes each way or equivalent to around 12 days a year. Imagine what you could do with an extra 12 days on your hands once you actually live at Light to Residences. Living close to the MRT is not just a matter of convenience. As, invest as an investor, it also makes sense. According to a study conducted by the ADP, across developing Asia, Residential properties that are located within one kilometer radius from a mass ra rapid transit normally enjoys an on average about a 5% premium. This is versus other developments that are located a little bit further.
further off. And as a rule of thumb, the closer the property is to the MRT station, the more premium is the property value. And in the context of the Philippines, or in this particular case, um, the MRT3 has been um, proven to be a, a force of acceleration of property values. Um, in particular, from 1995 to 2005, the, resi the residential uh, plot of land within one kilometer radius from an MRT station in general has actually, actually increased in value by 220%. And for commercial plots of land, the value of the property has actually accelerated even more at 290%. And one of the most uh, significant infrastructure development taking place near Light 2 residences is actually the Mega Manila Subway. And what is the Mega Manila Subway? It is actually a 36 kilometer um, line which will run from the north to the south, traversing the cities of Quezon City, Pasig, Makati, Taguig, and Pasay. And it consists of 15 stations, one of which is actually near um, Light to Residences, that is the Ortigas South uh, Station, which will provide residents of Light to Residences easy access to Quezon City, the Bonifacio Global City, and even the NAIA or the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. And this project is slated for completion by late 2025 or early 2026. And just like any other SMDC development, Life2 Residences has its own commercial development integrated into the whole development. And Life Mall and the future mall at Life2 Residences, when combined, will form one of the largest, if not the largest, commercial mall integrated into a condominium, which will offer a wide set and selection of restaurants and cafes. Everyday conveniences include banks, groceries, and pharmacies, a curated set of wellness centers, tea spas, and beauty salons, as well as a select set of international apparel and leading life local lifestyle brands. Life 2 Residences also offers hotel-like lobbies and social spaces. And this allows the feeling of a grand welcome every single day for our residents, their families, guests, and friends. And because SMDC always offers resort-style amenities that are designed to give utmost relaxation to residents, at Light 2 Residences, we envision this amenity to be the center of community life, and we call this amenity area the Private Urban Park. And this Private Urban Park is almost a hectare in size, and this was specially designed by a Hong Kong-based design firm, ALM, or Adrian Norman Limited. And this design firm actually garnered several awards in Hong Kong, in China, as well as in Malaysia. And what you have in front of you is the top view of the private urban park. And the private urban park features several swimming pools, such as the one you see in front of you, and lounge pool that offers water jet seating, outdoor party lounges, outdoor exercise areas and kids play area and like two residences also offers best in class amenities for fitness and leisure to include an indoor gym a fitness studio an entertainment room and a game room and very importantly Life 2 Residences has a professional property manager that is on hand to provide hassle-free and convenient property management service. 
and this property management service is care of GPMC or Green Mist Property Management Corporation that is organized to satisfy the specialized requirements of a large scope residential development such as like two residences. And the reason to this is because we want to address the aspirations of every homeowner that results in the enhancement of the property values and ensure that their investment actually appreciates through time and will last for generations. And as a recap, let me give you five reasons why Light to Residences is the best place to live in the center of the city. Number one, it features a private urban park that is almost a hectare in size. Number two, you have a regional mall right by your doorstep. Number three, it has excellent accessibility and location. Number four, again, it has some of the best in class amenities and facilities for fitness and leisure. And number five, and most importantly, it has a professional property management that ensures that the property is well maintained and that its value will not just be preserved but actually appreciates over time. At Light2 Residences also, we offer investor support services that ensures worry-free ownership and investing experience. And now, let me turn you over to my colleague, Franz Paolo Rossetti, to discuss the technical details of this project, Light2 Residences. Paolo? Good day, my name is Paolo Rosete and I'm the Assistant Project Director handling Light 2 Residences. Today, I'll be discussing the technical specifications of the project. Let's start off with the official name. It's called Light 2 Residences and it's a part of the Light 2 series projects of SMDC in Mandaluyong City. The owner and developer of the project is 102E de Los Santos Unity Corporation, a subsidiary of SM Development Corporation. The project is categorized as a high-rise building and sits on a total lot area of 10,936 square meters with a building footprint of 7,311.55 square meters. In terms of the total number of residential units, we have 4,190 units for the whole development. For Tower 1, we've allotted 2,142 units and for Tower 2, we've allotted 2,048 units. In terms of the location of the project, it's at EDSA, Corner Madison Street, Barangay, Barangay, Ilaya, Mandaluyong City. In terms of the building description, we have four levels for our commercial area, four parking levels for our residential parking, and then 46 floors for our residential for Tower 1 and Tower 2. In terms of the launch dates of the project, Tower 1 was launched in August 2019 and Tower 2 was launched in March 2020. Based on our license to sell, our turnover date for the project for Tower 1 is September 2024 and for Tower 2 it's August 2025. Next up, let's talk about the typical residential floor plan for the project. So across EDSA, you'll see that Tower 1 will be on the right side and then Tower 2 will be on the left side. In terms of Tower 1, we have a total of 48 units per floor and for Tower 2, we have 46 units per floor. In terms of the views that we offer for our project, we have views for the Pasig City Skyline, Mandaluyong City Skyline, Madison Street, and of course, our wonderful amenity. So let's talk about the different unit offerings for the project. Starting off with our studio unit with balcony, which has a total area of 20.69 square meters. Next up for the variation of our studio unit with balcony, we have a unit offering that sits at 22.55 square meters. Of course, in light two residences, we offer the one bedroom unit, which ranges from 26 square meters to 38 square meters. We also offer the two bedroom unit, which ranges from 38 square meters to 47 square meters. For the unit specifications of our regular and deliverable unit, so let's talk about the different payment things that we offer for Light 2 residences. We have a lot of payment schemes that ranges from cash, deferred cash, spot DP payments, spread DP payments, and easy payment schemes. So behind Light 2 residences, here's our project design and management team. Our project architect is Asha Design. Our general contractor and structural contractor is EEI Corporation. 
Our interior designer is made by N Concept. Our sanitary fire protection consultant is F.I. Figueroa and Associates. And our landscape consultant is Adrian L. Norman Limited. And of course, our electrical consultant, Asha Engineering. For the frequently asked questions, here are some answers. In terms of the ceiling height in the kitchen area, Tointenda, it's approximately 2.4 meters. In terms of the ceiling height of the living room, dining and bedroom, it's approximately 2.8 meters. In terms of the number of elevators per building, for Tower 1, we have 8, and for Tower 2, we have 8. In terms of the additional furniture for our premium units, we offer them a slip-type air conditioner. For our moviegoers, the cinema is only available in Light Mall. However, for Light 2 residences, they can access this through the bridgeway. Thank you, Pao. And with that, I hope all of us are convinced why moving in the middle of the city is one of the best decisions that you can make. And with that, good morning and happy selling.